Does your Luminar catalog look like an unorganized mess? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the easy and fast way to organize your Luminar catalog so that you can edit photos faster. Hey everybody, welcome to the Luminar Editing School where I show you simple steps for stunning photos. So if you're into that, if you have Luminar, subscribe to this channel so you can learn how to use it best for the best photo results. So as you know, photographers take tons of photos when we're out in the field. Take this catalog here where I took 2,597 photos. Now, if that's overwhelming to you, you're not alone. I know exactly how you feel. And that's why I created this very simple workflow to organize your Luminar catalog for fast edits. So let's take this catalog here where I was photographing hawks out in a local wilderness. Now, as you can see, I take a lot of the same photos at fast frame rates to freeze motion and action and try not to miss a frame. That results in a lot of photos that I don't wanna shift through constantly. What I like to do with this is to just zoom in on some of my photos. So I just double click on these images, wait for it to load, and then I just hit the right arrow key. As I'm going through each one of these photos, I decide if it's worthy to be edited or not. Now I make fast decisions here. So here's a photo that I know that I probably want to edit. It's really close up on this hawk. So what I'm gonna do is hit the one key on my keyboard. Now as you see at the bottom of the frame down here, it set a one star rating to this photo. That's going to allow me to separate it out from the rest of the photos later. I'll show you that in just a second. So I just scroll through these quickly, find moments that I might want to capture and edit. I'm gonna hit the one key on this one and just keep scrolling through these to see if there are any more that I might want to edit. And they're all a lot the same. Now, if I just double click and go back to my catalog, I had one of a red-winged blackbird that I know that I want to edit for later. This is a great photo that I want to separate out from the bunch. So I'm gonna hit the one key on my keyboard again, and you can see that star rating down at the bottom. Next, I'm gonna go back to my catalog, but instead of looking at all the photos together, all I have to do to see the photos that I know I want to edit and not feel so overwhelmed about all my photos is click on this filters option up here at the top. It might say all photos or filters or anything else, but you want to click on this up here and then scroll down to rating and then go over to your one star rating. When I click this, you'll see that only the photos that I've deemed a one star are all that show up. This really helps simplify the process of trying to find photos, seeing where they are. If you organize them out this way and allow yourself to see these photos in a different window, it makes you feel way less overwhelmed. Now, in just a second, I'm gonna show you a much greater step to this to further organize your photos. But first, if you're not subscribed to this channel and you're using Luminar, go ahead and do yourself a favor, subscribe to the channel totally for free and hit the notification bell for new videos that come out that are gonna show you simple steps for stunning photos using Luminar. Now let's look at these four photos here. Let's say I don't necessarily think this one might be edit work Worthy, that's okay, I can still keep it in my one star section, but I'm gonna pass over it. This one is definitely one that I want to edit out uh, as it loads up here. All I'm gonna do for further edits is I'm going to hit the two key on my keyboard. You can see that that photo now disappeared, but another one has taken its place. Let's go over to the Red Wing Blackbird, and I know that I want to edit this photo. Maybe I don't feel so great about this one anymore, but I definitely want to edit this one. I'll hit the two key on my keyboard. Now, if I double click, why did those photos go away? It's because I've organized them out into another separate star rating. If I go down here to rating, two stars, these are the photos that I definitely want to edit. Now, all the one stars will also show up in here as well, but if you have both the two stars and one stars selected, that will show out. If you want to remove the one star, all you have to do is select that one star to remove it from that bunch. Now, you can do as many stars as you want. Typically, I'll go through one to two, and then if I really like a photo, I'm done editing it, 
I'll do it as a three star to show that I have finished editing that photo and it's ready for export. This is gonna save you tons of time when you're editing your photos. It's gonna help you organize your Luminar catalog that is a huge problem for a lot of photographers. Hey, and if you want more videos on how to edit with Luminar, click this video showing up on your screen right now.